this is Adam Huxema from Projection Hub. Uh, I am just going to walk you through our software as a service financial projection template and uh, give you an idea of what you'd be uh, looking at if you were to purchase it. So the first thing that you need to know is that any cell highlighted in blue is an assumption that you can change without breaking anything in the model. Uh, secondly, if you are uh, comfortable working in Excel, uh, if you purchase this template, you're going to get up a fully unlocked Excel file, and so you'd be able to customize this as, as much as you want or need to. <clears throat> um, so what I want to do now is just kind of walk you through this baseline template that we have that I think is going to save you a lot of time. Um, even if you do end up doing some customization, I think our base model here is really going to save you a lot of time building out your SaaS uh, financial model. So uh, first thing on this input assumptions tab, you can enter in your projection start month and starting cash balance. You can add investors, um, accounts receivable terms, uh, inventory if you have it, probably unlikely with a SaaS, uh, pure SaaS model. Um, uh, you can add fixed assets. Uh, so with fixed assets, uh, SaaS business, you're likely really just going to have your software uh, build out that you might want to amortize over time. And so you can add that in here. And then you'll be able to uh, add loans as well. So if you do end up getting any loans, you can add loan amounts and terms, uh, repayment terms here as well. Now in the input revenue tab, uh, we need to first start with just how are we going to acquire visitors to the, to the site, right? So um, you have some marketing budget and then a cost per click to uh, drive those visitors to the site. And then you also have some number of organic website visitors as well. So that'll give you total website visitors. And then from there, some percentage of those visitors are gonna become subscribers. Uh, that'll give you your new subscribers each month. And then some percentage of those uh, of your customer base will, will likely uh, cancel their account each month. Um, so your churn rate uh, can be modeled in here as well. And that will ultimately give us our number of new uh, number of active subscribers. And from there, you can add your different subscription levels uh, and what percentage of subscriber of your subscriber base subscribes at each level. And that'll give you your total subscription revenue. Then jumping into operating expenses, you can have a number of different operating, uh, fixed operating expenses, and then you may also have some variable operating expenses like your payment uh, processing or credit card processing fees. And so you can select whether uh, that's gonna be a percentage of total revenue, whether that expense is a percentage, um, or whether it's a fixed monthly expense. And so you'll be able to enter in those assumptions here. And then you can add uh, different salaries, uh, salaried positions if you have them. You can enter the month that those positions would start and end and the number of, of those employees um, that you would have. And once you do all that, you'll be able to get a uh, some nice charts and tables here that you can throw into a pitch deck or business plan um, and provide to investors or lenders. Then we have an income statement uh, summary by year for the five years of the projection. We've got a cash flow summary by year and a balance sheet summary by year. And then if you want to get into more detail or if, for example, if you're applying for a small business administration loan, an SBA loan, they'll require you to have 18 months of monthly projections if you're a startup. And so um, this will meet that uh, requirement here. We'll have all five years broken down by month um, that you can provide as well with income statement, cash flow, and uh, balance sheet. So that's the base template. It is a, it's a pretty simple template for just kind of a standard um, pure software as a service uh, business model. Um, certainly there's ways you can customize this or um, ways that we've customized it for other users. And so uh, feel free to reach out if you have any questions and we'd be happy to help. Thanks.